Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I literally just redid the intro because I had my eyes closed in the one that I filmed before, so. Today I am basically just doing a little get ready with me. This is the makeup look that I came up with. It's very plain and simple. I just added some big bold lashes to make it a little bit more special. I am literally just having a filming day today. So this is the general makeup look I would go to. So if you would like to find out how I achieved this, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with my eyebrows. I feel like all my makeup is just gonna be exactly the same as what you've seen before. So apologies for that. I thought I would use this more as like a little catch up for me to kind of just explain where I've been, what I've been doing and why I've been so absent recently but as always i'm taking the sleek brow kits and then i'm taking this double-ended eco tools brush and i'm just using the angled side so as you guys can probably tell from my lack of uploads i have just been so ridiculously busy i'm pretty sure it's like half eight in the morning or something on a sunday which is unheard of for me to be up at this time so the last video i uploaded was the vlog of my birthday i feel like i was a little bit more confident with getting the camera out in public and everything i need to test out some more makeup products i'm sure you can tell from these get ready with me's I literally just stick to like what I know and just use exactly the same things all the time. Especially with these brow products, but they just work so well. These are so inexpensive. A while ago, probably before I even properly started wearing makeup anyway, basically my uncle's friend, his job is like setting up stands and stuff in shops. So you know if you go into a department store or something like that, and there's like makeup stands and there's all the testers and everything. His job is to set up those stands. And I think he also does like events and stuff. So basically when it comes to like, taking them stands down, they also have to do that. But it means that he can just like take all the testers if he wants to. So he did a benefit one ages ago and he just bought home literally so many benefit products that I know they're testers and that might be a bit weird for some people. Okay, so my brows are looking very, very bold as of right now. Oh, and also I have chopped my hair off. It's now so ridiculously short, but I actually really like it and I'm happy I did it. So I'm now just going to go around my brows with concealer and as you probably guessed, I'm using a mix between the Maybelline Eraser Eye Anti-Age Concealer and the Collection Last and Perfection in one. So with my hair, I basically cut it this short quite a while, actually I think a little bit longer than this, quite a while ago, like over a year ago, after I'd had it so long, like it was on its way to my mum but I had bleached it so it was just in the worst condition so yeah I cut it quite a while ago oh, I really can't do this and talk too sick So yeah, I cut it quite a while ago to about this length, but once I'd done that, I didn't really maintain it at all. So it just basically grew back quite long, but not in a really good condition again. So that is basically just what I did. I literally did it at the weekend. I'm really lucky because Brad's mum, she trained to be a hairdresser when she was younger. So we basically would just get our hair cut by her. That is the worst feeling when a sneeze goes. I'm sure you can see what I have just done there, but I'm basically just taking this flat ender brush and the two concealers and I've run it underneath my brow and then also over the top. This is probably one of the best things that I've learned from doing makeup is to cover your eyebrows. So I'm basically just getting ready today to film a load of videos because as I said at the beginning I have been really busy so I haven't been able to film or take pictures or anything so I'm trying to use my weekends as much as I can but obviously as you can imagine I then also want to spend time like relaxing or spending time with Brad because I get home from work really late so it means in the week we don't really have time together because I'll like come home and try and do as much work as I can like social media side so it literally is like a full-time job in itself if I was able to do it properly but obviously I work nine till six and I get home at like half seven most days so I'm sure you can appreciate the struggle that I'm going through at the moment but I do really love like love doing this I am trying my absolute hardest but honestly you guys are so patient and I honestly can't thank you enough so thank you guys so much for just bearing with me for a little bit but as I say this weekend I am just getting ready to like film all weekend so i'm hoping to get about four videos filmed today one of which being a pretty little thing haul which i know i posted an instagram picture the other day saying that, that was going to be my first video back i think this one will be so i'm really sorry to the people that were looking forward to that being my first one back but i promise it's coming really soon literally have like three freaking bags 
of Pretty Little Thing clothes sitting in the lounge waiting for me to haul. So I went a little bit crazy on the website. Okay, so now my brows are done. I'm just deciding what to do on my eyes. I don't know whether to do like a full on eye look or to just keep it quite simple. Hmm. I think I might just keep it quite simple and just go basic makeup and then big lashes so i'm actually gonna just move on to the skin i've been using two primers at the moment i went into mac the other day and i bought a lipstick which by the way is 17 pounds 17 pounds for a lipstick the last time i bought one it was 13 pounds 50 and they are now 17 pounds i was glad that i had a gift card to pay for that because if she had told me it was 17 pounds and i was paying with my own money i think i would have actually just put it back because that is a joke the amount of money that their products have gone up by like don't get me wrong well, so I do love MAC products, but Jesus Christ, like, that is expensive. But anyway, when I bought that, the girl put in some testers, which is actually so nice, and I suppose kind of justifies the £20, even though it was a gift card, so thanks to my brother for that for my birthday. But one of which was the Prep and Prime Natural Radiance, which I've actually been loving. I've basically been dotting this all over my face and just rubbing it in. Almost like a moisturiser. It's just really tacky, which I like, because it means that your foundation, like, sticks to it and it's not budging so I'm just gonna pop this all over my face and then I'm gonna be taking the Maybelline new baby skin does that mean it's new or does it is that part of the name I don't know but this is basically a pore eraser primer so I just use this to focus it around my nose area because that's where my pores are basically I find that this really works when I put it on you can almost see it literally blur your pores. It's so weird. I would definitely recommend this if you are looking for one. Okay, so now my skin is prepped. I'm going to be taking my normal foundation that I use in every single freaking video because I love it. It's actually foundation that is all over this light, I think. I don't know when I put this Get Ready With Me Up. I will insert a picture here of the thumbnail if you want to go watch it. But in that video, I just bought a new one of these. And it had like a security sticker all the way around the top. And I actually saw in the shops that every single one had that. And I went back and purchased another one the other day. I actually saw that all of the stickers had been removed so I'm guessing it was like something that people complained about I don't know but they definitely rectified the situation because that was not fun basically in that video I was trying to get the lid off because I didn't really realize that there was like a sticker the whole way around it when I say sticker this is like a freaking security like metal tag thing that you just could not get off and it peeled off in like tiny bits so I was basically just trying to pull the lid off and I pulled it and the whole freaking like pump came out like of the bottle and it flicked everywhere like all over absolutely everything if you don't already know what foundation i'm talking about i'm talking about the maybelline dream satin liquid i swear by this i use it in every single video like everything else in my freaking makeup bag this is probably one of my favorite makeup products out there this one is way too light this one is too dark so i'm gonna just dot both of them around my face and then i found this beauty blender the other day i lost it like i bought it quite a while ago and i couldn't find it which is ironic because it's probably the biggest sponge ever but this is the real techniques face and body sponge i mean body sponge this is not meant for your face it's meant for your body but basically it just means that you can do your foundation in under two minutes so back to my pretty little thing order I had a little bit of not drama but a bit of an issue with them because basically a little while ago i wanted to film this video so if you've seen my hauls before you know that i basically bring the entire shop to me and then just send back what i don't want so i did like a 450 pound order okay so i've just blended this out a little bit because my camera cut out of course it wouldn't be a video of mine if it didn't would so now I'm basically blending this in with my freaking football. So anyway, back to my pretty little thing drama. I completely forgot what I was even talking about then. But basically, I wanted to film this video and I had a spare day last weekend. I think I sat on Friday night and went through like the entire website and did this folder. I ended up ordering like 24 things and paid £6 for next day delivery. Next day delivery had a little text on my phone from my concierge saying that there was a package downstairs. I was like great I can film this video tonight blah blah blah. Went downstairs there was a coat like just one coat and that was it. And I did find it weird because when I ordered it, literally like two seconds after I placed the order, it said that it'd been dispatched. And I was like, well, that was quick. You package things very quick. So I was a little bit skeptical like, from the off. So when I just received this one coat, I was like, I definitely ordered more things than that. So I contacted them and she was basically just like, oh, we've refunded you. And I was like, but that's not the point. I've not got any of my items. I don't want my money back. I want my items, if you know what I mean. And they basically just said that they couldn't reorder at the time. But if anyone else has experienced that or does experience that, you can actually just go onto like your account and 
literally reorder your order yourself so that's what i did when the money went back in i just reordered all the stuff and that is now what's sitting in the lounge it was so much easier to get into these little areas i do find that sponge really good but obviously for like the small areas of your face it's very hard to use it. Finally, we're done with foundation. I feel like that is probably the longest I've ever taken to do that in my life because I just rambled on, so apologies. But now I'm gonna move on to concealer. So I'm gonna take the Lasting Perfection concealer and pop this under my eyes. And then I'm gonna take my smaller face sponge just to blend this out. Also, another little factor as to why I've been so busy recently, Brad and I are actually moving out soon. And because we live in London, it's almost impossible to look at a place and for it to be available by the time you move. So we're moving out like June time. So if we looked at any now, literally none of them would be available by the time we move out because they just get snapped up so quickly and people move into them immediately. The place that we live in now didn't even make it to market. So like nobody else saw it before we signed a contract and stuff. We were already in before anybody else had seen it so i suppose that just shows how quick things go like it's actually a joke we're kind of stressing about moving because right now we don't know where the hell we're gonna go i think we're probably gonna stay in this area just because we like know it now there's so much going on here it's so connected i just love living here but it's just finding that place like we literally have to look two weeks before we move. Can you imagine how stressful that is? Also, when we moved here, I've never really shown you guys the flat. I feel like I should do a little flat tour or something. So if you guys wanna see that, then just let me know down below in the comments. But basically when we first moved in, our landlady literally furnished this place like to a teaspoon. There was cutlery in the drawer, there was a kettle, there was literally everything. We could have moved here with our clothes and been absolutely fine. So obviously when we move out, we are essentially moving out with a chest of drawers and a TV and our clothes because we like bought a chest of drawers and that is the only piece of furniture in this place that's ours so also a dilemma we have is if we move to an unfurnished place we're gonna have to furnish it and spend a load of money on that too so that's a bit stressful but as i say we can't do anything about it until like three weeks before we freaking move i don't know we are still looking though i look like every day i do find it quite fun so i'm now just taking the w7 matte dream loose powder this again so inexpensive but this is probably one of the best powders i've used in a long time i'm just gonna pop this over my eyelids just to set the concealer in place and then I will be with you in two seconds. Okay, so now that's all set in place, I'm going to move on to bronzer. So as always, I'm gonna be using the Buxom Cosmetics Hot Escapes Bronzer 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 in the shade Tarty, and I'm taking this massive Real Techniques powder brush, I think this is. Yeah, powder brush. And I'm just gonna bronze up my face with this. And then I'm gonna be taking this onto my forehead and temples. But to do that, I'm gonna use this angled, I think it is actually a contour brush. But I'm gonna use this to take it up there just because using the massive brush just gets it all in my hair. And then I have like this gray ring around the front of my hairline, which nobody wants. This just makes it a lot easier to keep it on my face and not in my hair. I'm desperately needing a holiday. We haven't actually got like a hot holiday book this year. In May, we're going to Centre Parks, which I've actually never been to. I think when I was a baby, but obviously don't remember that. So I'm so excited to go there and just have like a breakaway. Not have to think about anything. And yeah, I just can't wait. But ideally, I'd love to be able to book a hot holiday too and go away, away, like abroad. We went away to Greece, no, Turkey last September and I'm not even joking, I still have tan lines on my arm, which just shows how much I like retain my tan. Don't get me wrong, I feel very pale right now, but I still have tan lines from a holiday last year. So I feel like I'm in desperate need to top up that tan and keep those tan lines going. So you guys know how much I love the Bar Mary Luminizer and oh, I don't even know who I need for this. Wow. Like, can we just appreciate this? struggle that i'm going through to apply this i was at brad's and bearing in mind his family have just moved house they've literally just moved into this house and we had a week off so at the start of the week we went down and we went to like dan elm and ikea and stuff and like help them choose loads of furniture so they bought this really nice rug from dan elm and they just laid it on the floor and then i go and do my makeup and then guess what breaks all over this carpet and i was like right no one panic no one move no one breathe i'll go get the hoover and this will all be fine so yeah that happened but as always i'm going to be using this highlighter so the merry luminizer from the balm and then the mac mineralized skin finish in global glow and i'm just gonna apply this to my cheekbones 
And then I'm just going to take the brush that I use for my eyebrows. And on the other end of this, it has like a shader brush. So I'm going to take that and just dip into the Balm Merry Luminizer. I'm going to apply this to the tip of my nose. And then to my cupid's bow. And then also a little bit down at the bridge of my nose. And then that is my highlighter done. I feel like I'm looking sufficiently glowing now. So just before I finish off with eyelashes, I'm just going to go back in with my brow product and basically just draw on the end and like kind of elongate my brows a little bit more. There we go. I feel like that just makes such a difference. And then as always, before lashes, I'm going to be putting on one coat of mascara and I'm going to be using the Buxom mascara, which I always use again but I'm going to be curling my lashes beforehand this is just like a quick tip I always find that this makes applying false lashes so much easier because they almost just like sit on top of your curled lashes if you know what I mean so I'm just gonna do that this is literally my favorite mascara I think it's about 24 pounds which correct me if I'm wrong but I believe is about the same price as the benefit they're real so if you're happy to pay that much on a mascara then I highly would recommend this now it's time that I'm going to apply my lashes and I'm using the Lily Lashes in the style Miami these are the ones I always use if you see me wearing false lashes recently then these are the ones that are on my eyes i know they're like 30 pounds i think they're 30 pounds for a pair of lashes that is a lot of money i got these for christmas from my mum but honestly i've worn these like more than 25 times i've worn these so much and they are still the same pair of lashes and they still look like they did when i got them out of the box so as much as they are quite expensive it probably works out a lot cheaper than just repurchasing like five pound lashes each time so i'm basically just taking some eyelier lash Glue. and then I'm just going to leave that to go tacky so they're easier to apply. I'm just going to take this in some tweezers and apply it to my eye. Lashes literally make the most difference to a makeup look. And then obviously I'm just going to do exactly the same with the other eye. And then the lashes done. As I say, I think they make the world of difference to a makeup look. To finish off this look, I'm going to just simply take the MAC Velvet Teddy Lipstick. This is my old one, as you can probably tell. So I'm going to be using a brush to apply this with. I actually quite like applying lipstick with a brush. <laughs> I don't know why. And then finally over the top of that I'm going to take some of the Buxom Full On Lip Polish and this is in the shade Dolly I believe. Yeah, this is in the shade Dolly and I'm just going to pop this on the centre of my lips. This also is one of them like lip plumping ones so it makes your lips tingle. I actually think it does work quite well. And then that is literally everything. So I'm obviously now ready to film. If you guys enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up. If you want me to do more Get Ready With Me's then do let me know. I know I haven't done one for a while so if you're waiting for one then here you go. As I I said earlier on in the video I will be filming a pretty little thing haul literally after this so it'll be up very soon on my channel hit subscribe if you don't want to miss that but other than that thank you guys so much for watching as always and I will see you very very soon in my next video bye guys